Hello, thank you for stopping by. I'm so glad you're here. In this video, I'm gonna be making a hoodie. For this hoodie, I'm going to be using a pattern from Form. I got this from their Etsy shop. I recently made a coat using one of their patterns and I really liked it. So I decided to give their hoodie pattern a try. I am going to be using this uh, cotton knit that I bought from fashionfabricsclub.com. It was uh, like $6.99 a yard, 100% cotton, 70 inches wide, I ended up ordering six yards of it, and I think I'm going to have about four yards left over, so I don't know what else I'm going to do with it, but I just decided to stock up because I really like it. It's super comfy, and uh, as you can see, Pearl here has claimed it as her own. This pattern also calls for some knit ribbing, so I'm going to try to use up some that I had extra. Uh, I had this sort of navy blue one that I think will work for the bottom ribbing and the cuffs. The only problem was the navy blue one wasn't quite long enough, so I uh, Frankensteined on some of this like powder blue to the edges of it to sort of make it longer. Uh, and hopefully this isn't gonna look weird. I'm thinking it might look kind of cool so it will meet at the front. This is a zipper front hoodie, so I have a zipper for it, the front. Uh, I got just this gray one. Uh, I think that'll complement the fabric decently well. Uh, just a, you know, regular separating zipper, pretty sturdy. Uh, but it's not metal, it's just heavy duty plastic teeth. This pattern really is fairly straightforward, so I'm just going to dive right into it. I will start by uh, attaching the patch pockets to the front pieces. Then I will connect the front pieces to the back at the shoulder seams. Then I will lay the front and back pieces out flat, right sides up, and lay the sleeve pieces with the right sides down on top of that. Uh, pin them into place and sew them. Then I will sew up the under sleeve and the side seams in one fell swoop. Next, I will attach the ribbing to the cuffs and the base of the body. Then I will add the zipper and the hood and do the drawstring. So that's it. Um, easier said than done, but I'm gonna get started on it. It is Saturday right now. I'm trying to get this done before a trip I'm taking on Tuesday back home to Oklahoma to see my family because I would like to have a comfy new hoodie to wear on the plane if possible. So let's get started and see if I can get done in time. All right, it is about five o'clock Saturday evening. I have the main shell of the hoodie finished and I'm uh, really happy with it. Uh, I really like this fabric quite a bit and I have enough left that I could maybe make another hoodie. And this is 100% cotton and it's a fairly light color. So I might try dyeing it like a blue or a green uh, just so I can get, uh, if I like this a lot, I might try to have a, a couple of different hoodies using this fabric. We'll see how that works out. So I'm taking a break now for some dinner and I'm debating whether or not I'll come back to this tonight. I need to add the ribbing to the cuffs and the uh, bottom of the body. I need to add the zipper and then I just need to do the hoodie. And I think I can do all of that tomorrow actually and uh, have plenty of time left over. So I definitely think I'm gonna get this done by Tuesday. So let's keep moving and see how this turns out.
All right, I have made it back home to Oklahoma. I finished the hoodie before my flight and I wore it uh, the whole time I was traveling. And I gotta say, it was super comfortable. I did some good sleeping in it on the plane. Uh, the hood is uh, very nice. Spent most of the plane ride with my eyes covered up and the hoodie all stretched together like this. I think I'm gonna make this again. There are a few spots where the sewing isn't great. My skill with knits is a little bit less than my skill with wovens. So I'm definitely gonna to try to make this again. I've got more than enough fabric to do it. And I'm very, very happy with this fabric. Um, so much so that I might order more. This was a fun project and it was pretty easy. I was able to get done with it fairly quickly. It's starting to rain on me, so I'm gonna wrap this up. If you have enjoyed the video, please consider liking. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the future. Thank <laughs> you.